You're now listening to the Chewing Grounds Podcast. What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 27 of the Chewing Grounds Podcast. And if you guys don't know, my name is Loon. Um, today, we have a very special guest. We have my sister. And beyond my sister, she is also a businesswoman who now owns four businesses going on to five soon. Um, she graduated from UNCG with a degree in fashion. Uh, we'll talk about a lot of things. Not only is she a businesswoman, a new owner of a Tesla, uh, the mother of my favorite little girl, Lana, uh, and she's my sister. Everybody welcome, Tao. Hey. Hi. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank yeah. you for having me. Of course, you wanted to be on this podcast for a while now. Yes. All right. So um, first thing, when we were setting this up, the first thing she says is, can I have, is there a mirror here for the guests? And I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking in my head how distracted you would be. Imagine if there was a mirror right here. Where would you look the whole time? <laughs> and also, she was the only guest, not Roasty, but she's the only guest to take like 10, 15 minutes to take a picture just for the thumbnail. <laughs> hey, um, so... Uh, today, we're going to be talking about a lot of things. We're going to be talking about your businesses, uh, life. Uh, I also have a fun segment where we're going to rank designer brands. We're going to do uh, this or that. A lot of things, a lot of things. But okay. first things first, how is it like being my sister? Um, <laughs> be honest. Be honest. I'm, I'm honest. I love it. Like, really? I'm so glad that we are very close. We are um, not like other siblings where they always fight. Um, we used to fight a lot, though. Yeah, we used to, but I think we are we really close. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what was it like growing up with me and Michelle? Um, different. Yeah. Uh, growing up with you and Michelle, I actually don't have any much memories mm -hmm. of you both because you both are more closer than me and you too. When we were younger, yeah. Yeah, but um, actually. Okay, let me repeat that. Growing up with you two is good, but I feel like now is actually the best. Yeah, we're you know a lot I mean? closer now. Yes, yes, we are a lot closer. Yes. Since we live together, we do things together. and. You know. When do you think that shift was where we became close? Uh, when you're working for me. You think so? <laughs> yes. I actually think it was the day you got married. Oh, yeah. Okay. Do you remember that marriage night? Yeah, but like everything before that was really far. Like Distant. we don't really um, get in close to each other. We don't know much about each other. We just have that title, brother and sister. Yeah, we were we're 10 years mm -hmm. apart. So it's it was hard for me growing up when I was little mm -hmm. to relate to you because most of the time, I'm thinking of you as a teenager. You're off doing things with whatever, dating guys and all that <laughs> stuff. And I'm over here worried about playing video games. So, mm -hmm. like, we're not, we weren't in the same world until you got married. Then I grew up a little bit more. I got into college and then you opened the businesses and I ended up working with you. Mm -hmm. um, so, what, and you said that you don't remember a lot of things, but what's one memory that you have from childhood? Okay. That one of us was there as well. well. We always dress you up as a girl. <laughs> yes, tell the story. I don't and want this. <laughs> also recently, Lana just asked me, like, um, her daughter. Yeah, what do you do with Uncle when you were little? Like, <laughs> and I said, yeah, I dress him up like a girl, yep. and I name him Clarissa. Yup, yup. <laughs> I, I used to wear heels, right? Yes, and makeup, mascara, and eyeshadow. But I played along with it. Yeah, you I love liked it. it. You yeah, love it. yeah, I was all about the attention. Mm -hmm. um, could you, in ten? Okay, so like, let's say five years ago, could mm -hmm. you have imagined where we would be today? No. Yeah. I. Yeah, I'm. I'm very happy for yeah. today. Mm -hmm. I, I think um, I put this down in my notes to talk about too. I don't understand why mom and dad don't appreciate you more than me. Uh, it's an Asian culture thing. They they really appreciate it, but they just um, keep it inside of their heart. They never really want to tell so their kid that, hey, you're doing great. Uh, it's just an Asian thing. They never... All Asian? Yeah, most, most of them are like... Um, they never really say, oh, you're doing good. You're doing great. You're the best. You're the... 
you know, they yeah. don't do that. Mm -hmm. Well, what I want to elaborate on with that is growing up in our household, I agree, they don't really say that often, but Tao has always done like 10 times more than me. She's she is the reason that we our family is successful and like thank you of course of course don't get a big head about it no, I'm just like <laughs> but no no you you are six, the sole reason because without your businesses without your dedication we wouldn't have been here mom wouldn't have the job she got I wouldn't have the do dad retired at like twenty what was it like three or two I mean I said twenty fifty two or three which is mm -hmm. like amazing and um but yet somehow you get the most crap. <laughs> I don't really get much crap at all. Dad, mm -hmm. you know what's funny? Dad calls me to tell me to tell you things. And I'm just like, bro, just what? Why can't he just call you? But you know what's even better? Yeah. Is that I know all of that, but as a sister, I love it. I'm not yeah. like. You're not other, jealous. I'm not jealous. I don't ever get jealous from you. And I think that's so good. Like, I always love you so much that even they if they ever say anything bad about you or compare us which they don't that's good not anymore but they if they, they if they ever compare you to me in front of me i will let i will stop them because mm. and yeah i'm i'm really like um on your side all the time yeah. and i just feel like I have so much love for you that nothing gonna change and that's why Aww. it works the way it is you know yeah. i mean we yeah. we all we all love you and um everyone respects you in the family i just don't yeah. think that they appreciate i mean say it verbalize <laughs> it as much anyways so beyond the appreciation also hi to all of her facebook fans because i know her generation it's all gonna be facebook <laughs> followers that are gonna be watching this um but all right, let's talk a little bit more about childhood and then we'll get into more of the later. Like, we're going to do it in a timeline kind of thing, okay? Okay. So, first off, how was it like living in Vietnam for 10 years and coming here? Because I was a baby. I don't remember any of that. Okay. So, um, I feel like I have two world, two different world at the same time, mm -hmm. which is great. Uh, English is not my language. My sec English is my second language, mm -hmm. so um, I am I have a little bit of mm, hard time talking in English. Mm -hmm. So, and also um, I like it. I like it that I come here at ten because I get to see a lot of Vietnam and understand and remember, mm -hmm. and then um, coming here and start a new life here, building the American dream. And yeah, I love it. Yeah, so uh, what I want my viewers to know before we get into the businesses is how this all came about. So we're gonna we're so first we were uh, you know again I, I don't know if some of you guys didn't watch our po my podcast by myself, but we were all born in Vietnam. My mom and dad and her, uh, and then at ta at age three, you? dad went oh. to oh. when you were three. When I was three. Dad went to refugee camp yes. trying to come to America. Yes. And it's a really long story. Mm -hmm. It's called The Boat People. And uh, I'm actually going to get a tattoo of that. I think that's really cool. But um, he ended up getting stuck there because the program stopped. So he got stuck there for seven years. Didn't see Tao. Didn't see... Um, by the way, she goes by Tao or Lee. Mm -hmm. um, but she didn't, didn't see her. Didn't see mom. Was I born at this time yet? Not yet because okay. he's over there in refugee camp. So you're not. So after yet. they kicked him out, and he had to live like in shit conditions. Did you ever see all that stuff? Yes. Um, it's so sad. Mm -hmm. Um. Yep. I wish that one day um, I can sponsor um, a movie and oh and God, then re Lauren. remake that for real. Like yeah. remake that movie so real so that. All everyone can watch how refugee mm, camp is, yeah, because um, it's tough. We, Even though I was I wasn't yeah. there, but I heard what Dad tell every time when he was drinking with his friends, yeah. he would tell the friends all the stories, and I was like, "Wow, dude, let's make this happen in the next ten yeah. years before like Dad gets really old, so he can mm -hmm. tell us everything, mm -hmm. and then we can like." Yeah. make it into something but um yeah so he went to refugee camp long story short uh came back because they, they got kicked out he didn't make it to america uh then they had me and then someone uh from the united nations felt really bad or something like that 
and then um, gave him an interview. Long story short, we, he came here, learned to be a plumber, started from the bottom. We all came here from a one-bedroom apartment or two-bedroom, but we, sp sp we split it with uh, Uncle Wee is what he told me. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? Um, so he um, so he come here mm -hmm. and, dad. Um, yeah, dad and mom, you and I, um, we live in the apartment. It was very scary is it a high point or in greensboro in greensboro Ooh. on market street near downtown is it still there um yeah i think Whoa. it's still there but okay. it's very scary and um and then um dad and mom um got their first job as working in a amt um company where they Whoa. do parts in the car, car yeah, yeah. and then yeah and then after that dad um quit that job get him a, a little bit better job as a Plumber. metal USA. Oh. He worked as a metal USA because uh, in a metal USA company because he um he know how to do metal stuff. Like connect what? metal to metal. Stuff. Yeah, I think I that comes from the refugee camp. Yeah, and and uh, and at um in Vietnam before he went to refugee camp, he had that career in Vietnam, oh, so he know what to do. What? Yeah, and then after working at Metal Metal USA is when he know Uncle. Um, Which one? Judong. Judong and two. Uh, Not that because that. Go hack. Ju Sung. Yeah, Ju Sung is a supervisor for him, and that's how we, they oh, met. I love that guy. Yeah, so then um, after that, he quit the job, or he, probably, I don't know what happened, but don't he stopped that job, and he went and worked for, for PF Plumbing yes, for a and that's very what I know. long time. So long, until mm -hmm. retirement. Mm -hmm. He worked day and night, uh, morning, waking up at three, four or five. Yes, I going, remember. Going home really late, uh, stay in the cold, stay in the heat. Um, yeah. I remember going to school as a kid. Waking up and he's already awake. Yes. That's so crazy. And, you know. And he stays as late as us. Yeah. And what were you going to say? Getting emotional. I'm about to cry too. Yeah. Thinking about it. Ooh, okay. Literally. It's okay. <laughs> not, There's going to be good cry. stuff that we're going to cry. Not gonna I cry. know. Okay. Not going to cry. So like. Same. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. That man. Worked he did so much. So much. He did That's so much why he this. deserved to stay. I want to get him on the podcast, but I don't know how to translate. I'm going to have to get like a translator or something. And he doesn't talk much. But anyway, so after that. My sister, the story of just my sister, you know, we'll talk about my dad again later, maybe with him. I know I'm going to cry too. Um, but Tao went to school and in high school, I, I mean, I, I don't know. How was your middle school experience? Was it really hard coming from mm. Vietnam? Because you came at an age yes. where you were like 10 or not 11. Yes. Uh, I think I was in middle school or elementary. A little bit of elementary. Uh -huh. Did you go to Alderman? Fifth grade. Ottoman? No, I went to I went to Sedgefield. You went to Sedgefield. Yeah, really. Sedgefield, um, Sedgefield, and did you know no English? No English at all. I only know one, two, three. I love you. That's it. <laughs> and hello. You and you bye. made it a long way. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. go ahead. So um, yeah, every day in class, I have to carry with me the dictionary. Um, <laughs> not this cho this cho this cho <laughs> not digital yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but the book okay so i was carrying a book with me everywhere i go um even when buying supplies for school i don't know what that is i have to open my dictionary and look is it a translating one yeah the Vietnamese? yeah oh. mm -hmm. it's so cool right wow, now old school now there's phones yes there's phone and everything crazy. uncle google and everything yeah and then like you also grew up in the time where the computer just came out, all yes. that stuff came out. AOL. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, but okay, so before we get into the fun stuff, uh, when you went into middle school, did you get picked on a lot? A little. A little? Mm -hmm. What middle school did you go to? Um, uh, I don't remember. I remember. So was it the one near Smith, I guess? No. In Adam Farm. Oh, okay. Okay. So one of those schools. And then I'm guessing middle school was a blur. You don't really remember much? Middle school. Not much. And then high school started and yeah. you became a nerdy diva, right? I remember everything. Every I think everybody remembered me. You know why? Why? Because I dress up and I do different kind she of hair every dressed day. Up so much. And you know what's funny? I feel like I got that from you. Because I, I used to do that. 
I think they they think I am like a sometime like a Halloween. <laughs> yeah, you know, like I dress up like pink, all head to toes. Oh and my god! <laughs> so I wish I had pictures. You know, it's funny because I feel like we both got that tea from each other, and I didn't. Even, you probably don't even realize it, but in high school, you remember I used to dress up like Rolf Lauren mm-hmm. every day, made sure I looked really good mm-hmm. and old. But um, so in high school, you were in the robotics team, mm-hmm. and you were really smart. You were. Yeah. You still are, but in a I different was, way. I was number four. Um. In class for, I think my the whole class eleventh grade, <gasps> yeah, in eleventh grade, wow. and I made it to the, but then it dropped down. Okay, it drops down when I get to twelfth grade, and but I was still in the top ten. Okay, and then yeah. okay, so after that you went to UNCG. Did you pick UNCG because it was the cheapest? Yes. Yeah. Um, and also I I felt like. I want to be close to dad and mom. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. that's that's why I didn't go too far. Yeah, uh, I think I'm. C- I kind of want to s- uh, play a safe game. I'm uh, kind of scared to move. So let's talk about this. Mm-hmm. Your time in UNCG, and then you went fashion. Mm-hmm. W- tell them I know why, but okay. tell them why you didn't pursue pa- uh, fashion after. Okay, so actually, first. I went for chemistry. Oh, really? Okay. You? Yeah, because you know, all Asian parents want to want doctor n- want or their kid to be some kind of like scientist okay. or doctor. So I was like, yeah, let me try it out. I got um, chemistry one hundred and one. Right. Failed the class. Wow. Flunk really bad. Okay. I didn't know that. Yeah, and I was like. Dang, chemistry, biology is not so for me. So hard. I no. hate science. So I was a little bit confused. I'm like, I don't know what, what I'm good at. Mm-hmm. And I, I like to dress up, and mm. I like fashion. So, and UNCG has a really good fashion degree. Yeah. So I go for it, and I did really well. Yeah, you did. You yeah. did. You won a couple of awards. Yes, for uh, international. Yeah, awards. you made a dress out of paper mm-hmm. and a one that looks like a Christmas present, right? Yes. I still remember mm-hmm. those. Um, mm-hmm. The paper one is crazy. And Michelle modeled for you. Yes. That was so cool. I, I went to the runway. Uh, yes. Fawn, her ex husband, uh, took me. I remember that. Yeah. Um, so mm-hmm. after this, right, what was. Okay, well, let's. Before we get to the business, because there's still Germany. You went to Germany to yes. study abroad. Tell me about the experience. Wow. The experience was crazy. Uh-huh. I think that everyone should let their child go to study abroad mm-hmm. in another country. Mm, okay? yeah. I love it. I felt like going there and study in another country is more than just in the book. You know? Yeah. Like if you want to learn Spanish, you gotta go, go to Spain. Exactly. Yeah. I felt like, wow, I'm in a different world. And I'm like, I I love it. The experience, the people, the environment, everything makes make me change as a person. Yeah. When I come back. Yeah. Yeah. I broke up with my boyfriend. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know which one. Tong, 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 tong. Uh, she dated so many guys that names rhymed. You, you know what's funny? When you we were kids, we had a bunk bed. Do you remember this? Yes. And you were on the top bunk. Mm. Am I mm-hmm. right? right? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. And I was probably 10, 8. How old was we? We were, we were uh, young. Young, yeah. So um, I just remember at night, I'm trying to go to sleep to from school, right? Because it's early. And I hear you crying every you night. You were six. Like almost every night you were crying. And it was always about some boy. Yeah. And you're on the phone. It's like a flip phone. Not even a flip phone. It was like a... <laughs> I don't know. It's just like guy after guy after guy. I, I don't have a break, you know? You were the type of person and who never had were single. You're yeah. always talking to someone. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. so funny. Um, But yeah, anyway, so back to college. What was your big decision on not pursuing fashion going business? Because okay. this is where it all begins, guys. Oh, my gosh. I feel, I feel like... I have to tell this story Go ahead. every this is all about single you. time. You, you know why? Because every time I have a class, I tell this story to my students. <laughs> because I just feel like it's such a motivation and inspiration story to tell. Uh-huh. Um, so I started out 
you know, fashion college student graduate um, with no job at all and wanting to go and pursue passion, fashion, Mm -hmm. (laughs) fashion, not passion, sorry. Yeah, I want to pursue in fashion. So I wanted to move to New York Mm -hmm. and because there was nothing here. Um, So I... I really want to move to New York, but at that time I was dating Fong. So Fong told me that, you know, I live in New York. Her ex-husband. Yeah, I live in New York. I know how it is. You are not going to make it there. Um, That's kind of fucked up. I know. He was like, you're going to do like, you're going to spend your paycheck to to paycheck. That's true. Okay. And you're so small and little and, you know, people going to. You know, it's very a scary world, you know, right. compared to North Carolina. And, you know, I was, and he was like, but, you know, you had your cosmetology license. So why don't you just open a nail salon? You know, mm. you used to do nails. Yeah, I used to do nails when I was 16. Yeah. Okay. Um, because of nails, it paid my college, um, everything that. It also taught you work ethic mm-hmm. because. I, 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 and I, I don't say this lightly. There's not a lot of people on this world that works as hard as my sister. You work hard. And I think I learned that from you because I work hard. And you you used to work at the retail store. Mm-hmm. Uh, what store was it? In the mall. Vogue Collection. But you worked hard, right? That was the... That, you were a teenager. You know, so that job mm-hmm. um, gave me a lot of lesson. Yeah. So, um, you know... If you dream of something or want to be something or you see that, you you put it in your mind and it will happen. Yeah. So Manifestation. I, manifest, yeah. I was working for Chad, okay, C-H-A-D. <laughs> what a douchebag um, name. Yeah. My Chad. boss, he's Korean, okay? Oh, he's Korean. Um, yeah. He have a really oh. beautiful wife and two kids. And by looking at him, being a boss, you know, coming in, checking me mm. uh, every time, um... And the stores, and it just motivate me, like, one day I want to be a boss, owner, yeah. you know? So, yeah. So, after my college um, degree, I didn't do a pursuit in fashion. Right. Um, I went and opened a nail salon without knowing how to do acrylic, you know? When you are an, a nails owner, most of them know everything. Yes. But I only know pedicure and manicures. And then... Wow. Um, you didn't know s No, I didn't know anything. <gasps> Gel was not even invented back then. Really? Yeah. Um, and <gasps> so after I opened the shop, then gel become popular. Oh. But yeah, opening nail salon in Burlington. Yeah, the one that we're still going. Yeah, still going. Like and almost I'm, 10 years. And I'm not giving up, babe. Never. I'm going. Never. That's my baby. And I'm going to remodel it and make it serenity nails a spa in burlington uh 1449 university drive uh burlington north carolina okay <laughs> that's, that's not the address like, it's, oh wait, it's, is it's, it not no <laughs> wait oh that's the waxing studio yeah that's the waxing studio oh shit which one is the it's 1183 yep 1183 okay, yep. university mm-hmm. drive burlington okay yeah. go back okay all right so next, um, to, next to what oh tickle Lose my Lose. ribs and tickle yeah. oh shout out to mark tickle <laughs> yeah. my ribs um but yes, yeah, so okay, so you pursued this first nail salon. How stressful was that? Actually, very stressful yeah. because back then we don't have the um, the knowledge of advertising and all that stuff. But now we what do. What year was this? Two thousand. Two thousand thirteen. Mm-hmm. So That's yeah, high school. So open a nail salon there, and then after that, no, yeah, yeah. After that, I grow a second nail salon in in Greensboro. When was that? Um. I think two years after. After, yeah. So, so in just two years, in three years, you came from a girl who owned zero businesses mm-hmm. to two. Yeah. How did you do it? I don't know. I was pregnant with Lana too, and I take care of all of it by myself. But you okay? And I want everyone to know this: who is inspiring business? She took a lot of risk. I did. And you have to understand that with great prosperity. There does come great risk, and thank God it panned out. But you just just ev- so everybody knows, there was a lot of risk in this, and a lot of loans. <laughs> yeah, I, that's what I'm referring to. She took a lot of loans on my mom. <laughs> she took loans on her own name, and she didn't even know it no, until no, no, now. No, 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 no. I did not take anything from my parents. Oh no! To start with the first business, not no, the first no, one. No. Okay. No. So yeah. the first one, what did all you? All me. 
Mm-hmm. What did you take your a loan? Credit card. <gasps> That's the worst loan. <laughs> I know. Like but the I, worst loan mm-hmm. you could take. But it worked. It worked. Thank God. Mm-hmm. So um, how many people did you have working at first? Three. Wow. Just you, uh, Me, Tina? Me, mom, and Tina. Wow. I love Tina. I love you, Goku. Yeah. I don't know if she'll be listening to this. It's English. but <laughs> I will send it to her. <laughs> but yeah, so all right. So after... And then I love Tina and Jody because Jody came after that. Yeah, and she was the fourth. Yeah, and then V and everybody oh, else. Yes. And so many of them yes. stayed with us. We, yes, you, you know. And what's one great thing about you is you're a great owner. In, there's obviously mm-hmm. aspects you can work on, but a lot of the things that you're good about is uh, employee relations. Mm-hmm. Now, give people advice, especially the women out there that are want to be business owner. How do you keep up with so many employees? Because there's not a lot that quit. Yeah, um, by now I think I have more than thirty employees and growing more later in the future. I think you have fifteen. Um, I mean 35, 35. 35, Wow, thirty five. Wow, thirty five now. I'm thinking about so, it. So, um, I know some of them might think like, "How do I do this?" Right. Yeah. Um, I have a structure of uh, plan what I doing in a day. Mm-hmm. Like I wake up really early. Like really, really early. But for Lana. Before Lana. Okay. Drink my water. Oh, this is your schedule? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, do do you wanna know sure. my yeah. yeah okay. Drink anything. my water. Okay. Eat my breakfast and <laughs> then get Lana ready. Okay. Before I get my daughter ready. I wanna get myself ready first. Takes After forever. that, take care of her and then put her to school come back and then i will start calling each of my managers to make sure that what they're doing that day you know and then after that so well no actually sorry can you repeat what no i was gonna say um how how what is an advice that you can give to aspiring women or just business owners on how you keep up with every employee like how how you treat employees so well to where they can stay with you because a lot of them have stayed here since the day that they started. Nina, for instance, Michelle, me, uh, obviously beyond family. There's Jody who started from the from the beginning. V, Noi, a lot of the girls. Take them like they're your family. Yeah, you spend a yeah. lot of money on your shops, and like I'm talking about like dinners, like going out, uh, parties, events, you do a lot of that. Yeah, I, I care for them so much. I care for each and one of my employees. Yeah, all shops. Like they're all my family and they know that, they felt that, and that's why they love it here and they never want to go anywhere right. else other than when they really want to grow their uh, business as a owner by themselves. Right. And I, you know what, even that, I love it. I'm I'm even so happy for them. Yeah. So that's yeah. So let's hop back. So you you opened the second shop two years after you opened the uh, 2013 shop. So this is what 2015 now. Um, oh, I was going off to college. I do remember this. <laughs> Nina used to work for you. That was really funny. Yeah. Remember the receptionist? She was a receptionist. Yes. My friend Nina. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then okay, when did we open the waxing studio? Her third business. And this one's this one was your first time tapping outside nail salon. I opened my third business be, um, after the divorce from f- my ex-husband. And then... 2016, um, 17? Yeah. I guess because I never really want to stop. I, I always keep wanting to move, yeah. move, move, move. And Tell me about move. the hardest challenge of opening the studio. Because I know the studio was like completely different. Different. So different. It's so weird that yeah everything is related to beauty but everything i open is different yeah and for those out there um you can tell what you guys provide at the studio versus the nail salon totally different so what's nail salon mm-hmm. is everything all nail services mm-hmm. at the studio is eyelash extensions waxing and permanent makeup yes mm-hmm. and then on top of these three after everything was going well just this last year, you opened up the academy. Yes. And do you want to talk about that and yes. your role there? Yes. So when I opened the studio, um, I become more confident in permanent makeup. Mm-hmm. And everybody um, texts me and be like, 
um, Lee, you're so experienced in it, mm. and you know you're so good at it. Why don't you start teaching? So that's when I'm like, yeah, let's try it out. And um, cool. and I I went to learn how to be an instructor, how to become, you know, one of the best businesses for you. Thank like you. I love yes. doing it, yeah. and it's so much e- like it's so much more simplified. Uh, teaching is so much uh, more rewarding in a different way. Obviously, all businesses are great and they're all your babies, but like that one, the new one. And on top of this all, you have a fifth one coming out yes. with a restaurant. Yes, and I'm going to do it. Tell everybody where it's going to be and what kind of food it is. Okay, it's going to be on Gate City Boulevard. used to be High Point Road. It's going to be Vietnamese food, of course. Near the Hooters. Yeah, we're going to have pho and banh mi and some bubble tea. What's the name going to be? Wait, do you have it yet? Yes, I do. Okay, go ahead and say it. Mid morning pho and ban mi. And if you guys didn't know, this is whole podcast is just a sponsorship that is just all her business. <laughs> um, no, we're gonna we're gonna get uh, we're gonna move on from business here in a little yes. bit. But um, what do you think? Just just to close up the business thing, if you were to name, and this is kind of a lot, it's name a few things that is the most important things to, to anyone who is looking to open a business or anything. Like, do you think it's the managers? Do you think it's um well obviously we were talked about treating the employees well do you think it's the location do you think it's like different things what are some of the most important things to you that helps you run your businesses so well well of course location Uh location 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 right after that your employees Uh okay and then your manager you mm-hmm. have to have a good manager like I do so that mm, can Michelle, help you run. Nina, if you have Jimmy. just one shop, okay, then you as a manager is good. Yeah. If you know you can manage it. Yeah, that's good. But if you are thinking big and wanting to have multiple businesses, mm-hmm. you should have managers. And a system. Like mm-hmm. yeah, a system has to be in place. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, that's yeah. awesome. I, I, I'm honestly impressed at how much you can do and how much... You keep opening up and you... Yeah, I'm not going to stop. I know. <laughs> We're going to tap into every freaking industry. When are you going to open up a, um, a movie company? <laughs> That's <laughs> when your girlfriend... Yeah, 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 ready. Lauren. Uh, you should open up a babysitting service just for... <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so moving on from business, let's talk about a little bit more fun stuff. Mm-hmm. What was your funnest trips growing up? Your favorite trips mm-hmm. as a child? As a child... Me and Michelle talked about this the other day. Well, we don't have any other places other than Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach! <laughs> we went like every now and then we went to other places. But well, how about Vietnam? The time we went to Vietnam. Yeah, that's, that was fun. But Myrtle Beach, um, Myrtle Beach, <laughs> just kidding. Myrtle is always like on our list every time that hit it's July so 4th. Dirty. So yes, dirty. Yes. And to think about that was like, the, oh my God, every year we were like, oh, we're going to Myrtle Beach. Three or four families stay in one little room. <laughs> Oh, oh my, my gosh. God. <laughs> like you guys like don't even understand how it is to be poor when you guys have to mm-hmm. book one hotel and there's an air bed, mm-hmm. maybe two air beds, mm-hmm. someone sleeping on the floor, mm-hmm. sharing beds. So, so much fun, fun, you know? So fun. And guess where we're at now? We rented out a whole house. Yeah. That's, mm-hmm. It really is <laughs> the American dream that we live. Mm-hmm. And I appreciate it every day that you and dad mostly it's mainly you two i only helped i I, but to be fair i came later so i can really we really appreciate you (laughs) i do this now i podcast (laughs) Um, no but uh yeah myrtle beach was fun how about the times you went to vietnam when you came back uh what what kind of experiences did you have there do you remember when we went when i was 10 you were 20. Mm -hmm. so um after i grow grow up grew grew up uh, mm -hmm. i grew up in vietnam uh, 10 years there mm-hmm. and then uh, moved here and then went back when there. did you go back uh, for the first time i went back there for the first time by myself Ooh, after graduating from high school 18. mom and dad was like you can go by yourself <gasps> because you know back then we're still poor we don't have much money for the whole family yeah, so he was, um she was like you know we're gonna give you a ticket you know you can go by yourself and Aww. have fun and some money and and i did it, it it felt so good to be home and everything looks different it used to look so big and now it, everything looks small to well, me well now it's even 
like crazier. Oh, you, yeah. you're talking about like it used to be a big city, but now that you came to America, yeah. it looks okay. Yeah, okay, okay. and then everything looks different. Um, most of the stuff are the same, but yeah. uh, some stuff are are changing because yeah. Vietnam changed really fast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When was the last time you went to Vietnam? Uh, before COVID. Wasn't it? Isn't it even bigger now? Like like the industry and everything. Yeah, everything grow really fast. Wow. That's crazy. I haven't been, I've only been to Vietnam besides being born there one time when I was 10, you were 20. Mm -hmm. And we went and, um, let's see, we went to that big temple where we had to go up the ski lift. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you went off to do stuff. I don't know. And then I got stuck with (laughs) the family. It kind of sucked. Yeah. Um, but do you, what's, what's one, like, uh, what's the weirdest thing you've eaten there or eaten ever? Cause I have an experience. Am I allowed to say this? Yeah. Who cares? Oh, I eat rats. <laughs> oh, that's not that bad. When do you eat rats? When I was little in Vietnam. Oh, like a kid? Yeah. Is this just normal? Yeah, it's normal. Wow. Eating rats. But the rats have to come from the rice field. Yeah, like clean mm-hmm. Clean rats. rats, yes. I think that's common. Yeah. I, I feel like in Vietnam that's common. And I ate caterpillar. Caterpillar? Yeah. Was it good? In the rice soup. They, uh, the uncle the next door to us, um, he didn't tell me <gasps> it was um, yeah, caterpillar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just like try this really good soup rice soup yeah so i just ate a caterpillar it tastes good it tastes good the rat tastes, tastes good very buttery what yeah the caterpillar what the fuck come uh, from a coconut tree yeah wow mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. weirdest stuff that i eat was all in vietnam mostly um we, we eat snake Mm-hmm. Dad fed me snake. That's normal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was just like, "What the fuck?" I, <laughs> I'm used to McDonald's. Like, yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. feeding me snake. Mm-hmm. Um, that's crazy. It's so crazy to see that. We need to go back sometime. Yep. It's it's tough for you to go back though. Uh, you, mom, and dad, because you guys know so many people, so you have to see so many people. You have to give money, all this yeah. stuff. I have no ties. I can see them. I don't really know. Them. Yeah. I go on. Um, okay. What was the biggest fight that we have ever gotten in? To you. Uh, when you were living with me and I have to kick you out. Which time? <laughs> <laughs> First time and the second time. Uh, COVID? I don't remember, but there was two. Was I it about the time that you I didn't help was, you with the rocks? Yeah, that was so stupid. Huh? Yeah, it was like a now year and a half ago. Now I think about it, yeah. Uh, so we were, we were living together. I've always lived with my sister except for college. Mm-hmm. Um, whether it was with my parents and then she moved out, she lived in Burlington. She has like this nice house and had space for me. I came in, um, me, her and Michelle lived at, because of COVID, Mm -hmm. we were all just stuck there. Mm -hmm. And then, um, I don't know what happened. It was just a weird day. I was in a bad mood and I shouldn't have done that. The first time was my fault. The first time was definitely my fault. I shouldn't have been this pissy. And you told me to help you with the rocks. Hey. Let's all blame it on the COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't, I was just like, nah, I'm not doing that. Because it was heavy and I was not in the mood. And she was like, well, you can get out of my fucking house or some shit like that. And I was just like, okay. Me and Michelle packed our bags and we went back home to mom and dad's house during COVID. But yeah, um, you know what? To me, I don't even think that was our biggest fight. Because I don't think you remember this. But when you were a teenager, you did something. And I can't remember what specifically but I punched a hole through the wall. Do you remember that? I don't remember. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was after the house was renovated. Mm-hmm. So I was uh, probably in high school, maybe middle school. And something happened with you. I don't remember. It was you, though, because it wasn't mom and it wasn't dad. Wow. And something happened. And you know where um, our hallway is in mom and dad's house? To w- where you walk from the living room to mom and dad's house. You remember where we used to keep the shoes? Not in the closet, but th- mm-hmm. there used to be just that little area mm-hmm, where you keep mm-hmm, the shoes. Mm-hmm. This wall right here, I just... I don't remember. And you know what's funny? Dad was just like, you, you just got to fix that later. He didn't even like yell at me. There was no yell. Like, he, he, it was almost like he understood. It was just like, just fix it later. I was <laughs> just like, what the fuck? Do you remember the time that dad threw your phone? Yeah. <laughs> Tell the story. Very clearly. <laughs> um, so... How old were you? Asian parents are very strict when it comes to a girl. Yeah. So I didn't get to go out at all until I was... Like 20-something. Uh, 18. Really? But that was when I was 16, I think. 16 or 17. Okay. I went to a movie with my friend, and 
so when you're at a movie theater, you can't use the phone. You can't use the phone. You can't pick up your call. And he keep calling me to make sure where I'm at. He was worried, and I didn't answer. So he was really mad and worried and scared. <gasps> so when I got home, <laughs> I just opened I the door. This. He opened the door. He got so mad. He <laughs> took my phone. He called. Bam! He threw it across the room, bro. Like like frisbee this. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And then after that, the next day he bought but a you new phone. phone. <laughs> it was like just a statement or yeah. something. I was but just playing Xbox too. I was just like looking back, just watching this happen. Um, yeah, go ahead. He worked so hard, but he managed to give us everything that yeah, was popular. Yeah. So if the there's a new updated phone come out, I have it. Uh, yeah. He's always been like that too. Yeah. And mm-hmm. that's why we give so much back. Mm-hmm. We. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing about American culture that I don't understand. And I think I I, I, I guess I kind of understand it because I think in American culture, uh, not saying in a bad way, but a lot of parents, they care about themselves still. Like after they have kids and they grow up, like they're still, uh, I mean, they care about their kids. Don't get me wrong, but it's not like Asian household. You give everything to your kids so that like mm-hmm. your kid, but it's the expectation that your kids will take care of you when you get mm-hmm. older and stuff. Mm-hmm. And, um, you definitely take care of mom and dad now. Dad's retired. He gets to do whatever the fuck he wants. He fished like every week, bro. Yeah. Um, anyways, the most mad mom and dad ever got at me. Do you remember? Because I remember. You were there, actually. They don't get mad at me that much. It was when they caught me smoking weed. Do you remember that cool. shit? Yeah. <laughs> that shit was crazy. Um, that mom is still scared now. That she still like, asks me. She's like, she's like, did you, you still smoke? smoke weed? Did you smoke? Did you? Did you, did you <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did he still, you know. And I'm like, bro, it's he's, not that serious. And he's grown. And even if I did, which I I have it in, I think a year and a half, two years now. But even if I did, who the fuck cares? Um, it, what's funny with that is, you know who saved my ass the most? Gim. Thank you, Kim, if you're watching this. She was like, bro, it's not that serious to mom and dad. And it's, yeah. Oh, man. She, tell tell them how, what our aunt means to us and our uncle from, from Canada. Yeah. So, um, uncle is our blood uncle. Yes. Kim Such is. Such a nice guy. Yeah. Kim is his wife. And we are closer to her than him. We talked to her. I was on the phone with her before this podcast. Uh, I talked to her every single day. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. We love her. Mm-hmm. And I think. Um, She's so fun. Yeah. She gave you your first purse. My first Louis Vuitton yeah. purse. Yeah. And that inspired you. Inspired me to be um, successful. We so. were able to give her one back. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I only put in a little bit, but. I gave her a Chanel too. Oh, shit. I didn't do any of that. But I, I did a little <laughs> bit of the Louis um so let's talk about uh what is the hardest part of being a girl in an asian household besides being uh like we already talked about uh you know mom and dad were stricter on you so you couldn't go out much Mm -hmm. but what other expectations are there for a girl in an asian household okay you might think that i will say that i have to be successful to be a role model but actually not. Um, being the oldest in the Asian family has a lot of responsibility. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, you have to uh, be the one who take care of your parents later. So that's just the oldest regardless of the gender? Mm, uh, mostly it's the guy. Uh-huh. But I felt like being older, you have to take care of your parents. You have to take care of your younger sister or brother. So you yeah. have a lot of responsibility oh, yeah. in you. And maybe that's why I, I, I was able to manage all my employees and all the yeah. responsibility as an instructor. Yeah. yeah. Do you think your daughter, Lana, will have that work, ec- at work ethic? Yes, Do you I think so? believe okay. so. I hope so. She's a little boss. She is a boss, but <laughs> I'm, I get worried about her laziness with schoolwork. Yeah, I know. She's so funny, though. Yeah. What's your funniest experience with your daughter? Like, one of them. One that you could just think about, and you're like, oh, my God, this was such a big moment. Every day is <laughs> such a big moment with her. I know. Her. It really is. Oh, my God. She's so dramatic. She was on this podcast. She was hilarious. Last night, let's see, before bed, she would talk to me. Uh, she would ask me, you know, um, 
what happened to Pluto? Because <laughs> Pluto is not a planet anymore. So what happened to it now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't even know. No. <laughs> so what the fuck? Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, one. Okay, I gotta think. What's the one of the funny? Oh my gosh. So one of the, two times that was really funny. One was really sweet. Was when she told Lauren she was like, "Are you okay with the like?" Mm-hmm. Uncle Loon used to have other girlfriends. Mm-hmm. I was fucking dead. Go ahead. Hit me with it. Okay. Hit me with it. She's like, Mom. Mm, I lo- how, how's, how is it being single? <laughs> yeah. How is the single life? She's six years old. It must be good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think she got that? TikTok? I don't know. <sighs> I just... The other day she said, I, you don't know this, but she said, island boys. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, yeah. bro, that's like 18-year-olds know that stuff. <laughs> Apparently, Zorn showed her that. So, Zorn. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, she, like, she is so mature. But she needs to learn, like, what is right. Yeah. Yeah, before it gets out of hand. She's really good, though, for the most part. Yeah. She's sassy with you. Why is she so scared of me? I don't know. You're just like a dad figure in the whole family. She's scared of me than Fawn. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's what happened when you are not together with your husband. Yeah. And, and then you, you know. Do you have any advice for single mothers? Mm. Just ha- raising a kid. and Because if anyone's going to give advice, it's someone who's super busy. Um, being a single mom... Um, you just have to be strong yeah. and you just have to, you know, do you make sure you are happy first before yes. you can make others happy. Yeah. COVID was a crazy time. Mm-hmm. We, I feel like the majority of people hated like COVID, but we had so much fun. Me, you and Michelle had so every day, wake up at like four. We're like, work out. <laughs> like you were doing, you, you were paint. The whole house, the whole cabinet. like cabinet, like she, we just did so much stuff, and um, man, I I wish I, can. <laughs> I think it's fun for people who work so hard all the time yeah. to have a full break, like mm-hmm. just to uh, relax. Um, let's talk about traveling. You love traveling, yes. I love traveling. Before COVID, I managed to travel maybe four or five times a year. That's me now. And after COVID. Still the same. <laughs> Dude, it's crazy. And you know, I, again, this is another moment where I say thank you because you were the reason I started traveling because okay. she, well, I went to Vietnam when I was a kid, but do you remember our first trip? What do you think it was? Because I remember it because it was such a big moment to me. Like a long, big, big trip? The first time me and you ever went on a trip anywhere. It could have been with Just people. Just you and me. Regard. Period. Whatever it is, with uh-huh. with people or without people, what do you think the first trip besides Vietnam, me and you went on? I want to see if you remember it. The test. Colorado. Colorado. So she asked me. I was in college still. She was like, "Hey, uh, your spring break is coming up, or something like that. Do you want to come to me with Colorado?" And I, I was super excited. We went out there, and that was the first taste of like being on a plane as an adult mm-hmm. and i'm like whoa and then like yeah. we went to eat food mm-hmm. it was pretty good we went around and we drove up the mountain and mm-hmm. stuff and i was just like whoa like this is so fun and like ever since that i was i think mm, 20 it completely changed my life 21 i traveled to vegas with you Ted michelle and then we went to um I went to LA, I went to New York, I went to, and then just, we just kept going everywhere. And Tao is so fucking generous. She won't let us pay half the time. She's just like paying for everything. You're like Oprah, but for the family. I love it. Yeah, <laughs> You're literally Asian Oprah. I mean, you work hard. Yeah. You, if you can afford it, why not Share. Um, spoil to your yeah. family? You know? I agree. It's not fun being at the top by yourself. Not only my family, I love employees. to spoil my employees. Yes. Yeah. Employees. Shout out employees. Um, so, let's see. Oh, what is your best and worst quality about me? And oh, well, I'm okay. What do you think your best and worst quality is of yourself? And oh, I'll tell okay, you what I think. Myself first, and are yeah. you ready for yours? Yes, I am. Of course. The best, the worst quality about me, I'm very messy. Okay. Okay, I'm a very messy person, but I, 
I learn so much to organize and I clean all the time, but I'm still messy. And shout out to my Serenity Waxing Studio girls. They are so OCD and clean. And yes, <laughs> and I learn a lot from them. Okay. That's my worst. The best quality about me. Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you what I think. I work hard. Okay. Mm-hmm. I agree with the wor- the best. You okay. work hard and you're generous. Okay. I was going to say generosity. Okay. Um, the worst quality, I don't think is messy. You are very messy, but that's not even the worst. <laughs> I think the worst quality is you don't know how to communicate in English. Yes. And so, I want yeah. to take that class. I Sometimes want- she texts me and I'm just like stressed out. But it's <laughs> And then the other night we had an, a, a pretty big argument fight thing. And it was over her wanting me to add something to the list that I already had. Yeah. It was the stupidest thing ever. Yes. I, I will need to learn more <laughs> yeah. how to communicate. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm going to tell you what I think is mine and okay. then you tell me. Okay? okay. So I think my worst quality is my way always has to be right. I always have to be right. I have an addiction to being right. I am stubborn in that sense with Lauren, with everyone. Right. That's my worst quality. My best quality is... I think it's similar to you. I have uh, like drive. I'm always doing something, but also uh, I like giving now. This is a new thing that has been like uh, this last year. I give a lot, but uh, that's what I think. What do you think? It's fine. Your worst quality. You don't have one. Shut Just the kidding. Fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I wish. Um. Do you think it's that? No, your worst quality <laughs> is Give me deep. you I'm short. I'm didn't <laughs> throw the trash on Tom. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. That's and the worst. You didn't really wash the dishes much okay. in the house. Um, I wash my own. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it's me and Michelle who yeah. does the most. Yeah. And your good quality is. That's the worst quality? Yeah. That's what you think is the worst quality of Yes. Yes. Over the other stuff that I said. Yeah. What the fuck? All right, I'll wash dishes more. <laughs> That's the no, thing. I mean, your, the one that you said about yourself was right. Okay, okay. Okay? okay, okay. Don't it's get me wrong. One. I just it's add in okay, a little okay. bit. But the best quality in you is that you love your family and you always oh, that's true. I didn't put them that. first. You always... Um, the, yeah. You always put other people first and then you. And that's why you're... So most of the time stress out because you want to do a lot for other people first and then you. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Mm-hmm. I, I do be stressing is, myself out. That is the best quality in you because you love your family and you work really hard. You, yeah. yes. You do too. You, yeah. work, you work even harder than me sometimes, uh, most of the time. All right, so let's uh, let's talk about a few more things and then we'll get into the games and stuff. I feel like this whole podcast is me like brother and sister talking about each other like how much we love each other and yeah. shit. <laughs> it's like nothing <laughs> else so you guys are funny. just listening to that yeah. let's talk about selling sunset yes you finished this fucking show in f- f- three days yes like four because she has a month off like doing other stuff like worrying about the salons and she took like every minute she had that playing on the background you you love selling. Would you say it's better than any other shows? Or? Yes, I honestly felt like Selling Sunset is better than the Kardashian. Wow. And you know how the Kardashian is the number one family in America, yeah, like shows and everything. But uh-huh. I felt like Selling Sunset is the best because you know you learn so much about business, about um, about real estate, real estate. Uh, not only real estate. Is about teamwork and about work ethic and about dramas mm-hmm. and just. Who's really your good. favorite character and who's your least favorite character? Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the least, the least favorite is the one that I don't even remember her uh, name. Pale, uh, b- b- brunette, right? Yes. Oh, I'll pull that up. Yeah, but am I allowed to say that? Yeah, who gives a fuck? Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, uh, who's your favorite? My favorite, okay, have to be the female cast, okay? Because I don't, there's only two or three, four uh, male cast members, so I don't, I'm just going to tell Wait, you. Wait, this the is girls. the one you hate, right? Davina? Yes. Davina? Yes, I felt like she have no 
bo- she's boring and she has no personality, <laughs> and I don't know why she's there. Maybe yeah. she bring a lot of money in the okay. company. Who's your favorite? My favorite is. This is just some of them. There's more. At first, it was Christine because I really? know she she's is a, a bad bitch. Okay, but she have the best fashion, hairstylish, like and makeup, and she she loved name brands and. Wait, and Christine? She's the tall one, right? Yeah, she's the tall one. Yeah, yeah tall she's blonde She's a bad bitch. Uh huh. And but um, after watching. Christine. Four seasons, going to the fifth one soon. I love Chriselle. Chriselle, mm-hmm. yeah, Chriselle. Chriselle is cool. I didn't like her the first season, but I think I like her more now. Um, but all right, so do you know why I love Chriselle? Why? Because at first she come in as a new member to the whole company, mm-hmm. and now she is not the most, but maybe the second most, bringing the best. In the company. Mm, mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Let's talk about marriage. What are the things you liked about it? What are the things you hated about it? Okay. I hate everything about it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I'm still single. I, right. I mean, single means like I'm not going to get married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Seriously. Yeah. I, but you, you know, never say never, but I really don't want to get married. I'm not trying to tell all the women not to get married. Please do. Um, get married, have fun. Um, and, you know, you, yours, my last, and just not mine. It just mm. not happened to be me. I don't think I am a wifey material girl. You're like a wife type no, of person. Yeah. No. And some people are, which is fine. I'm a girlfriend. That's crazy. <laughs> You need a reality show. I do. It would be so fun. <laughs> I need a reality show. I feel yeah. like that would be fun. I, um, yeah, let's do one. <laughs> yeah, let's let's hire people. Let's let's hire Lauren's like production company yes. friends. Let's make a production company. It would be <laughs> fun. Put it on YouTube. And yeah, it might get, might be um, really popular, and Netflix will sign us in. Yeah, that'd be pretty. We'll cool. be the first Asian. No, no. There's another one. I know the Houston ones. Yep. So what's your next travel plan? Like if you had to pick a, a next spot to go to. Okay. Well, I already had plans yeah, we're, well, we're going multiple yeah. places. But if the next spot I would want to go to yeah. is Hawaii. Hawaii. Okay. Or Bora Bora. Mm. Or um, Maldives. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I haven't been to any of those. Yeah. I would love to go to Hawaii. So My friends just went there. Yeah, three places that I wanted to go. Uh, we're going to Houston this summer. You can come if you want. Me okay. and Zorn, definitely. Probably for my birthday. We'll I've see. been there before. Yeah, I haven't been there. Um, do you like it? Mm, it's okay. It's like a mini California. Mm. Uh, Maybe you should go to Austin then. I heard Austin was like crazy. Like awesome. I went to Houston. We should go to Dallas. No, Tao. I heard Austin like really? is like LA. Like, oh, wow. Like booming. Yeah. Wow. I, I don't like, know why I still love California. I love California. Yeah, it's so weird. But I go there every year. So it's like. Well, we do need to go there again this time. Yeah, yeah we go. We Wanna literally do it? go over there. Yeah, sure. When yeah. I need to go there to see my. Wait, you have so many travel plans though. Hairstylist. <laughs> Wait, would you rather go there or Houston though? Because you um, have a hairstylist in both places. Yes. Um, I kind of want to go back to California to get some Botox and filler. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, let's talk about your. Are you open? I'm very about? open. Okay, let's talk okay. about what things you've gotten done and. Yeah. Do you regret any? Is there anything that you would have done different or anything like that? Yeah. First off, so, what did you all get done? So first of all, okay, I'm a very open person. Yes. I am not like other girls where they get things done and they don't they don't like to tell right, 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 right. other women or stuff. It's not thing wrong, okay? If, if you want to keep that as Fake a secret, natties. as a secret for yourself, it's nothing wrong. That, don't get me wrong, but. For me, I felt like I love to share um, because I want all the women to know that, hey, there are things like that out there if you want to try, yeah. you know, because it really helped you uh, boost up your uh, confidence in your beauty, you know. Yeah. So what all have you gotten done? Okay. Let's start so with the first one. First one, I got my boob job. Oh, I forgot okay? about that one. I got my um, boob done. I, it's so weird to talk about this to you got, my brother. You got this overseas. I mean, who yeah. gives a fuck? Yeah. But it's overseas uh, though, right? My yeah, my my breast, and then after that, uh, my um, I had a tummy tuck. Okay, that was the oh, worst. Oh, that was the worst experience. You have to take care of me. Oh my so god, let know. me tell the story real quick. <laughs> um, 
So she got her tummy tuck and I didn't really know much about it. She told me like, hey, a week before she's like, hey, I'm getting a tummy tuck. I need you to come in and drive me there. I'm like, okay. So I, I go pick her up. It's like pretty early. And um, I remember the doctor telling me like, hey, this is what you need to do. This is what you don't need to do. She's like faded. Like she's like, I don't know if you were on a lot of medication at this time or not, but I think you were. And um, we had to get her in a wheelchair, then get her like walking into my car. And then at this point, she was just like, my lips are dry. Like, make sure you pick up soup and stuff. So I, I had soup ready and everything. So we had to stop by mom and dad's house because it was closer to this place. The moment she gets out the car, she's like, Loon, I don't feel good. And I'm like helping her, right? She's like holding on. And then she just faints. And then like, on, and our floor is concrete outside. So it could have been really bad, but I'm like, like just holding on and it's yeah. dead weight so it's heavier because mm -hmm. it's completely dead and she's like uh, she's still talking too so it's like scary she's like i'm so sorry like she's just like i i can't like i can't i need water i, I can't so, lift up my whole body so we just stayed just... there we just <laughs> stayed there and then like five minutes and you yeah. get back up mm -hmm. and then you, we walk up the stair right there we have two steps three steps for our mom and dad's house the second step you fall again. And I'm like, oh my God, this was one really scary because it's on the stairs and it's concrete. So I'm like, and the same thing happened. We got her inside and then after that it was good. But like, oh my gosh, how was the pain of a tummy tuck? Um, worse than 10. <sighs> doing it or after? Uh, after. Ah, you can't feel it when doing, doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. So first boob, uh, tummy, what's next? And then after that. Was it I a many or was it a full? Tummy tuck. A mini. Many tummy mm -hmm. tuck. Okay. And then after that, I have a second breast um, surgery done. Really? Because. Um, I didn't know that. Yeah, because um, based on my body, not not because of the doctor, it's mm -hmm. based on your body that it um, my breasts were not even. Uh, so they have to make go it in even. and make it even. All right, yeah. what's after that? After that is a little bit of lip injection. And the first time? Uh, first time, second time, third time. Um, and I think I'm going to stop. For with that. the lips yeah the you lips. should stop with yes. the lips yes um would you get anything else done yeah a little bit of more botox and then have you gotten botox yes i did oh so when did you get that i didn't really need it but because i got a little bit of filler here in the nose oh yeah let's okay let's we, 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 we even say all that so you got your lip your first lip and then did you get your filler yes your filler in my nose uh -huh. and i got this uh non-surgical nose thread Okay, that one too. And then after that, I got um, some Botox because they say that it matches with the filler. You didn't get a lot though. Yeah, just a little I bit. Remember. And you know, I can't even smile. Like, there's no expression. Not like, smile, frown. Like, frown. Oh, when I do angry face, yeah. I, you can't really see. Mm, yeah, not a lot. No, yeah. no lines here. You know, I just like that. Yeah. But now you see it. Yeah, yeah it's over time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's next? If you got something. That's it. You're done? Yeah. Done, done. done there's done, no way. Done. Done, done. There's no way. Okay. Of all those, mm -hmm. what was your favorite one to get? My nose. Okay. I was going to say that. I was going to say, Tao has always been a pretty girl, beautiful girl. I didn't, personally, I don't think you needed a lot of that. But the nose, I get. Because yeah. you had a small nose. And, and it no went in. bridge. Yeah, it went in. Yeah. I mean, mine's kind of goes in too, but not yeah. as bad as yours. So now it's just a little bit bridge and it's not even like a surgery surgery. Yeah. Just a little bit filler. I know it's kind of a little bit dangerous to get it here, but I love it. I felt like you every can smell woman. Fine? Yeah. Every woman should get it if, mm. if they well, need it. If they if need they it. Need yeah. It. yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. uh, and I can afford it. Uh, do you think you're. What of all of those besides the tummy tuck, is there any you would have taken out? My lips. Yeah, it's your last one. Yeah. yeah. I w I want to go back, but I think that it's gonna go away soon. I hope so. Yeah. Uh, you should not get any more tummy stuff. No, ever. I'm gonna work out and eat right. Yes, and yeah, I well, did. We'll see. I'm going <laughs> back to ISI. She's Shout she out. is the uh boy who cried wolf when it comes to food. She always say. I'm going to eat healthy. I'm I love food out. so much. Yeah. You love, no, no, no. You don't love food. You love eating unhealthy food. <laughs> that's the, that's the problem. Mm. It's not about loving food. I love food. Um, <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Uh, I, I love your shirt, man. Thank you. I actually wore this today because she gave me this for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And you know, what's funny. I didn't even know this brand. 
Oh my gosh. Everybody <laughs> that's knows. Little, that's how funny. Like, I really never knew this brand. Oh, speaking of brands, we're going to do that real soon. Oh. Um, we're going to do a little designer game. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else specific I want to talk about before we play games. Anything you want to talk about? Mm, I have a lot of stories. I think yeah, you have to bring me back here again. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. I'm down. Well, what's the story that you have? Oh, no. I mean, there's so many. How about the time that you got in a car accident? Oh, that was yeah. with, with Michelle. With Michelle. Yes. Tell me um, that story. I went to buy my iPod, iPod Touch. iPod Touch. The oh, first wait. time it come out. The touch first or just the, the... The little the little iPad. Pink, can you t- is it touchscreen? Or is... I don't think it was touchscreen. Yeah. I think it, it was just the like... The first one. You just listened to out. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the first one that came out. And um, <laughs> I get so excited because, uh, you know, it's a new thing. And I drove Michelle to Walmart um, in on Wendover, the Fort Intersection. Yeah. Got my iPad. No, not iPad. iPod? Mm-hmm. iPod. So this is after you got it. Yeah. Wow. So after I got it, I drove out. It was the... Sunday of football night. Super Bowl. Super Bowl. So because of that, there was nobody around, okay? So I drove on that intersection and passed the red light. Your fault. It was my fault, okay? So the lady crashed in my car. Old lady or young? Uh, middle age. Mm-hmm. Um, bumped into my car. My car turned 360. You drove a punch buggy, right? Uh, no, Toyota no. Corolla. Oh. Toyota Corolla, the yeah. old, old one, yeah. silver. And then Michelle was on it. Michelle was in it. Uh-huh. And then um, spinning. spinning 360. And I was like. <gasps> you cried. I cried. All I care was the person in the other car. Yeah. So Wait, but weren't you on the phone with your, like a guy or something? Uh, I don't remember. <sighs> Michelle said that you were. Yeah, I don't remember. Maybe. Or yes. I think she did. I don't know. And then uh, when I got out, the police saw that I was so scared and was crying. She, he didn't even give me a ticket. Really? Yeah. Yeah, he didn't even give me so a ticket. So what happened? But I still at fault Obviously. for taking care of so everything you just paid else. But I didn't have a ticket. Oh, yeah. wow. But you know what's funny? Nice being a girl. Go. What's Michelle funny? has did no he... emotion. She's emotionless. She's like. To this day, Michelle is cold hearted, dog. <laughs> she she cold hearted, dog. Yeah. I I <laughs> She's so calm. Let's count how many times she's cried that you can count. Like we don't have to bring out the times, but I think Leah's, Leah's wedding. wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Leah's wedding. Oh my god. I, I was so surprised. I think she's cried either five or less times that I have seen her cry. Okay. That's crazy. Oh, and the time that she couldn't take it when we were fighting. Oh, yeah. She was just sitting there and like. That was a crazy fight. <sighs> and she was just crying because she don't know what to that say. That was a crazy or do. fight. It like, yeah. yeah, it became like she she's the I middle think she child. hide a lot of us. her emotion. Yeah, for sure. Aquarius. No, I'm just playing. Um, mm. No, I don't actually know if that's true, but uh, she definitely is not as expressive with that. And I am very open and express. I, everybody know when I'm mad. Everybody oh, yeah, know when tell. I'm sad or, or happy. When Tao's on her period, there's a 25 mile radius that everybody can d- tell. <laughs> it's like everything's hotter. All of a sudden, <laughs> you change, you, you're like, you've changed to a whole nother person. Mm-hmm. It's so crazy. Um, all right, let's play this quick game and then we'll do the designer tier list. So I'm going to tell you, first off, I'm going to play a little bit of background music. I have some Asian music. Okay. Do you hear it? Mm-hmm. That's so funny. <laughs> I know, right? Okay. I'm going to list a few thing, uh, two things, and you're going to tell me which one you would prefer, okay, and why. Okay. Would you rather get married again or have another kid? This or that? I have to pick one? Yes. Have <laughs> another kid, bitch. Really? Yes. Okay. What would you name your kid? If it was a boy. If it's a boy? Yeah. Start with an L. What about a girl? Still start with an L. What would it be? Lily. Lily. Because <laughs> Lana, Lana wants Lily. Lily. What about a boy? Lanny. Lanny. Uh, Loon. Uh, Not sure. Uh, <laughs> something with an L. I don't right, know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. This or that? Selling Sunset or you? Me. No, the show you. Oh, the show you. 
or selling, selling sunset? Selling sunset. Really? Sorry, you. I okay. mean, I love you, but I love selling sunset. Man. Okay. Never teach or do PMU ever again. You can't teach. You can't do it. Or never eat out. Never like, eat out. No way. Yes. No I'm fucking so, way. I'm so passionate about my career. You eat I cannot, so much out. I can cook. I've been cooking lately. Okay, get the fuck out yeah. of here. Uh, dry, <laughs> dry. Okay. I can Uber eat it. That's okay. not eating out. Just to give people reference, mm-hmm. she now is a new owner of a Tesla. Oh, yeah. Before we actually ask you this, how is your Tesla? I love it so much that I'm going to sell my Mercedes. Oh, my God. That's so crazy. I can't yeah. wait to get one. Oh, my God. Yes. So I've been thinking if I get one, mm-hmm. should I get a like a three or a, or should I wait and just get the like the X, like the wing doors, like the crazy shit? Because you didn't even get that. You got the Y, right? I got the Y is not Which because is still I top. can't afford the X. Fuck it's just, no, it's not that. It's just because much I don't here. feel like I should get an X right now. Because um, if I go pick up Lana or go somewhere, uh, if I open the door, everyone's just going to look at me. Yeah, I but don't want I that. don't have a kid. So do you think I should wait until to get the X or should I get the three? Which is get the a, cheap one. Uh, get the three first and then get an X mm. later. Because I don't think you should wait. I honestly felt like everybody should just... Get a Tesla. Just Everybody get a Tesla. Tesla. Are Seriously. You, he, he's coming out with a phone. Are you going to? Yes. All in. Over iPhone? Over iPhone. I'm uh, not getting a, even a 13 right now because I'm waiting for that Tesla phone. Yeah. I think it's either going to be at the end of this year or next year. We'll see. Oh, my God. Dad just, dad called me. Dad called me today. He's like, you know, Tesla's doing a phone. I was mm-hmm. like, mm, so now you want to sell your stock? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I, I'm so glad that you got a whole family into that Tesla the stock. The one thing. That I can say that I did for my family is I got everybody on Tesla early. That's so amazing. Man. Especially me and you was the earliest, mm-hmm. and then mom, dad, and then dad, and then, and then Kim. Aunt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wait, well, actually, me, you, then Michelle, mm-hmm. then everybody else. Actually, Michelle might have been before you, mm-hmm. her first Tesla mm-hmm. stock, maybe. Yeah. Okay. So back to this question Would you rather sell your Tesla and, and Mercedes, gone, and you have to drive a Toyota Corolla? For the rest of your life, mm-hmm. period, mm-hmm. and it has to be a like the old one. You remember mm-hmm. that one that you, we had, the white one, okay, two thousand eight Corolla, okay, for the rest of your life, mm-hmm. or never wear a name brand again. You can never have a nice car. You have to drive a two thousand seven Toyota so if, Corolla. If I don't pick that, wait, wait, one. talk in the mic, please. Okay, so if I don't pick the car, then I have. You can wear all the name brands you want if you have, but you're gonna drive in a Toyota Corolla. Or you can have your Tesla, Mercedes, whatever okay, you want, okay. but I, you can't uh-huh. wear a single name brand. Yeah. I will pick my Tesla and not even care about my brand. Okay. Yeah. You would just have to wear yeah, like no look, brand. These are not no brand. Okay. All yeah. right. Well, that what on your what the thing on your wrist is. So I can take this off. Okay. I don't even need to wear this. No. Wait, where's my present? I just like. Yeah. Why are you wearing my present? I just like. Mm. Um, okay. One, open a new, fa- open a fashion line or open another waxing studio. What would come first? <laughs> this music. Mm, I would do like, I mean, I'm going to open another nail salon, of course. Yeah, but that's why I didn't ask that one. Yeah. Would you rather have another waxing studio and deal with that? I or think I, I will open another waxing studio. Over a fashion? Over a fashion line because right now I want to stay safe. And because I already had opened that before, so I know how to run it and stuff. Okay. But fashion is like a little bit risky for me. I'm not like the the young girl that I used to be like anymore. I'm like... You still act like that. 30, <laughs> in my 30s now, so I like to stay safe. You do not act like you're in the 30s. <laughs> but it, honestly... Let's talk about this. Michelle's about to turn 30. I know. Isn't that fucking crazy? She doesn't even look like she's 25. Like, she doesn't act like it to me. I just think she's, like, my age. Mm-hmm. So crazy. Right, and we're we're not getting, we're not even sure what we're doing for it. <laughs> we need to figure that out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Which of these two would you rather pick? Okay. Paris? Okay. Or Spain? Oh my God. You kill me. <laughs> well, Both places that she's got robbed at. I know. I'm going back to Paris. Yeah. Um, so yes, I'll pick Paris because uh, Paris have a lot of shopping that I want to go for. Can Spain you, have nothing I want or want to go back. 
Can you tell everybody both stories of when okay. you got robbed? Let's start with the Spain one. Spain, I was uh, holding the phone. Uh, iPhone, what, 12, right? I don't remember. Or 11 or something. But I was looking for a, um, a map to go back to the hotel. And I didn't know it was that bad in Spain at all. If mm -hmm. I knew, I would just put it in my... W I would not even do that, you know? So... Out of nowhere, I used to be like selfie in the middle of the street or mm -hmm. recording this and that. And I, and now I realize that a lot of people are looking at me like, "Oh my God, what's she doing? She needs to put that phone away," you know. But now I, I realize that yeah, there's a lot of eyes are looking at me that back then. Mm -hmm. So I was doing this, and out of nowhere, a guy jumped over, snatched my phone, ran away, like. And I scream out loud, and nobody was there to help me. Was it packed? Um, there's people there oh, oh, yeah. walking and stuff, but this, they're not they gonna help. Fuck. Yeah. They, yeah, it's happened all the time. It's like a. That's crazy. Yeah. The second one. Oh, Paris. I was there for that. I already talked about this, but I want you to talk about it. You can watch the YouTube. Uh, it's not out yet. Oh, it's not out yet. Yeah. Okay. Well, you can, you can watch uh, Lung's YouTube later when he put it out there. Uh, it happened all in his camera, okay? Most of it. Yeah. No, no. A Wait. whole family was eating at the restaurant. Yeah. And Vietnamese restaurant, Vietnamese too. restaurant. It was really way back in, safe and everything. It seems very safe, right? Yeah. And and then this, this homeless guy come in, and we were... We didn't even pay attention to him. Everybody was busy eating and talking and stuff. He come in really quietly and out of nowhere, putting a quarter in his, uh, a, ch a corn in his uh, uh, his hand, putting all the way to my chest, like moving it, moving it, so to get my attention to my to his hand. And then Lung was there. Lung was there saying, "Be careful. Um, don't take don't take his penny. Don't take his penny." And then. And then, thank goodness, I saw in the corner of my eye because, you know, it happened to me before. So, but that night, I don't know why I put my phone there. And you bought something to put to, it on your yeah, neck and it I wasn't on there. I put my phone there. Oh, my gosh. So, he, one hand, he's doing that. The other hand, he had um, a towel over the phone. Slowly, slowly take it away. Crazy, dude. And then I saw it. I scream out loud everybody jump in punch him out and get get him kicked out and stuff wow <sighs> yeah why I, does it always happen to you it's because you're I asian know. yeah but like if he did that and i didn't see it then nothing would happen like nobody will know i just gonna be like oh I right. lost my phone. Lost phone, and you probably don't know when it happened. Well, know? we would have probably guessed. Yeah, maybe. but do you? Um, please be safe your next trip to Paris. Yeah, you're going gonna, soon. Yeah. yeah, I'm not gonna put anything. Do out. not dress nice. Nope. You guys can buy nice clothes, but do not dress. Yep. Okay. I think I'm just gonna wear like black, all black. Yeah. Is more because the more you look like a tourist, mm -hmm. the more they're gonna rob you. Mm -hmm. That's what that's what they literally told us. Um, all right, so back to the game. Mm -hmm. Which of these two places, okay? Italy or Germany? Which one did you like more? I like Italy. I love Italy. Yeah. I love Germany because that was my first experience to Yeah, Europe. talk in the mic. That was yeah. my first uh, experience in Europe, which is Germany. But I love Italy now. Oh, oh my so gosh. Awesome. All right, now, Italy or Greece? That's Greece a hard one. Greece. Greece is the best. <laughs> Greece is just... God, that was so oh God, fun. I, I want to go back to Greece. Uh, it's actually really safe, but then... Well, I've heard stories, but yeah. uh, but still pretty safe compared to other places. But guys, I recommend... Like, please go to Greece before you die. Like, you have... Like, Santa Santorini or um, Mykonos. Mm -hmm. Oh, so great. And uh, even in Athens by the airport, that guy was so nice. I love it. We had a cat. Like, it was so beautiful. There was grapes yes. on the trees and, like, Next limes. to the hotel... Yeah, twenty four seven drinks and stuff. Like he was just oh, such a great place. Um, all right. Would you rather be on your period for the rest of your life, every single day for the rest of your life, on your period, or have to work for someone else again, no longer a business owner? That's a hard one, huh? Dang, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I thought about these. 
beforehand <laughs> to make it hard. Well, I would rather ha- have my period. Whoa, they work for someone else. And yeah, yeah. because my period, my period is worse than anyone else. I Bro, think it's like, pretty bad. Every time when I have period, I just no one can talk in the house. <laughs> We're all like, scared. I'm just like I don't want to even go to work. I just want to lay down and yeah, don't want to deal with anybody. It's really bad, you know. But I rather do that than, than work. be in work no. for someone else because I being the owner. Could you even imagine that now? Like, yeah, you, th- and it's fine if you work for someone else, guys. Mm-hmm. But I can't imagine working for someone other than you, but working for someone now. Yeah, because everybody is different. Okay, yeah. um, you have the good and the bad. If you work for someone else, yes. you have the good and the bad. If you become the owner, yeah. Um, okay, so let me tell you what is good and what's bad about it. If you are the employees of someone else, those are the one that doesn't really have to worry about supplies, supplies hiring, 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 all the dramas, all the hard work and everything. All you got to do is go to work and come home, relax, and no stress, you know, and just have your life, okay? Yeah. But if you become a boss... When you come home, you have to think about employees. You have to think about your rent. You have to think about wh- what you can bring a to the company. There's a lot of things being a boss, okay? So it's... It's not for everyone. It's not for everyone. If you are... There's always the one that want to be the employees. Nothing wrong with that, okay? I love it. And there's the one that want to be the boss. There's yeah? actually a third one, too, who is just independent. Contractor? Completely. Mm-hmm. Like... Uh, YouTuber, for instance. Okay. Just work for himself. Mm-hmm. Don't hire anyone mm-hmm. who works for himself. So there's like a little bit of new stuff too. Yeah. And uh, in the beauty industry too, yeah. you can have a, your own a room. Booth and you just work for yourself? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, all Most right. of my students are that. Would you rather eat Korean food or Vietnamese food? Which one's better? Oh, which one's better? Which yeah, one this I or pick? That. Yeah. Vietnamese. Really? All the way, every time, every day, everywhere I go. All right. Co- <laughs> Korean or Thai? Korean. I do like Korean food. Mm-hmm. Do you like barbecue more or the other stuff? Can we please not talk about food <laughs> because <laughs> I'm on a diet? Tell I'm on a diet. You think I'm you think I'm not struggling right now? <sighs> Saturday hey, hey, you know what? You gotta make a rule where okay. you only get one day a week or something, you know? Okay. And I'm waiting for Saturday. Okay. You can't because you've been cheating already. <laughs> you cheat like every single fucking day. So it's like what what is your day? Um <laughs> okay. anyways, Las Vegas or Los Angeles? Pick Las one. Vegas. Really? Yes. That's a shocker, actually. Yeah, it's fun. I love Vegas. Mm-hmm. Uh, in and out Burger or Chick-fil-A? in and out What really? you talking about? Yes. Oh, okay. my God. I wish it's here. What's what's after in and out for your top fast food? Mm-hmm. Five Guys? Chick-fil-A? Shake Shack? I don't have one. I think in and out is It's just in and out <laughs> You love in and out dude. I do, too, honestly. Why are they not moving here? It's. I think that's the what makes it special, too, though. Yeah. Yeah. You know? All right, last one, and then we'll do the little um, designer segment. No phone for a week Mm -hmm. or no eating out for three weeks? No eating out. I got to have my phone. (laughs) I knew you were going to say that. You're like Lana. (laughs) All right, um, any questions before we do the last segment? No. Anything you want to talk about to the world? Oh, everybody, uh, this, but before I forget, these are her businesses, and just to shout them out. We'll start with the nail salon. We got a, Burling- we got a nail salon in Burlington, North Carolina. It is uh, 1183 University Drive, uh, Suite 102. I have so many. Yeah. Really All right, and then we have another business. If you guys, uh, anyone in the Burlington slash Greensboro area that want to get um, any waxing done, any um, permanent makeup done, lashes, all that good stuff. It is Serenity Waxing Studio in Burlington. That one is fourteen forty eight. I mean fourteen forty nine. University Drive um, in the Target Center, but it's by Harasaki and something else. Oh, Great Clips, um, Sweet G. And then we have a third nail salon in Greensboro, North Carolina, thirteen twelve Bridgeford Parkway. So if you guys are in Greensboro, want to get your nails done, you guys stop by there. Um, Serenity. Also Serenity Nails and Spa, Greensboro. And then our academy just individually contact her if you want to actually learn some good stuff all right now that we are on to our line final segment we are going to do a fun thing i'm going to screen record this real quick um so give me one second quick time player how was your time on the podcast so far really good thank yeah. you for having me i would love to come back here talk well, next about time more into the business side let's next time let's get multiple people 
Yeah. Yeah, let's get like Zorn or Michelle or Lauren or something. Okay, so I am currently, uh, you guys are seeing uh, my new screen now. Um, yeah, so it's it's up on there and I'll put it on like a little corner here. So what, right here we have a tier list. Tao probably doesn't know what a tier list is. Do you know what a tier list is? No. Okay, this is going to be fun then. All right, so first I'm going to zoom in a little bit, make it more clear for you. All right, because I know you're old now. <laughs> All right, um, let's a little bit out. Okay, so we have a tier list here. And what we're going to do is I have a bunch of brands that I know you know. There might be like one or two uh, that you don't know. They're all designer except for like maybe three aren't designer. And we're going to rank them. So with this, we're not, you're not going to put from one to best, okay? But okay. this is how you're going to rank them. This, this top one is S tier. It is the best. The best of all the designers. Like only like five or whatever amount that you decide. The best of the best. A is a top tier. It's really, really good designer brand, but it's not the best. B is good, but not great. C is, eh, it's like not good or bad. It's, it's a designer brand. D is not worth it. Like it's overrated. And then F is like, hell no, you won't even wear it. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> All right. So first off on the list is Alexander McQueen. Um, Let me make this more visible. Let me change the background color. I would do A for that. Uh, give me one second. Let me change the background color real quick. Uh, let's change it to what color do you want? Uh, the w which one? Pick a color that's oh, not pink. Okay, I guess that's pink. Okay. Okay. All right. So now it's pink. All right. You said what? That is purple. Uh, that's close as we can get. I don't okay. think is there pink? Yeah. Oh, right here. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay. Mm, oh, it's kind of okay. pinky. All right, Alexander McQueen. Where are we putting that? Uh, a a. a. That's a top tier. Uh, yeah, but it's not best of the best. Wait, Alexander McQueen is top tier? I've never heard of this brand. Yeah. What the fuck? You, do you wear it? Mm, uh, no. And why is it a top tier? But it is a top tier. Oh. To me or to the whole world? To you. To this me? is t This is to all me? you as a designer, as a fashion major, and someone who loves design. Okay, he is a top tier. I, I really admire him. But then why do you wear But it? I don't wear it. I don't know. It's not your style? It's just not my style. Okay, yeah. what about Balenciaga? Uh, what would you grade it? Uh, top tiers. Really? Yeah. Okay. You will know what's going on. Balman? Top tiers. <laughs> this are all going to be top tiers. But you don't wear Balenciaga. I do have a bag. You have a Balenciaga bag? Mm-hmm. And okay. shoes. All right, this one is Ralph. Uh, B uh, Burberry. Burberry? Yeah. Uh, Where are you putting it? Uh, A. Also A? Yeah. Okay. So all these are just going to be A's now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, this is, what does that say? Bur, Burlot? Hold up. Hold up. Burluti? I don't know that brand. Okay. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I honestly don't know it either. Yeah, I don't so know that. So let's just put this yeah. here. Hugo Boss. Oh, okay. Good, but not great designer to me. Do you own any? No. <laughs> it's more like a man thing. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, this is Bottega. Bottega? Yeah. A. A. All right, Calvin Klein. Calvin, uh, Calvin, uh, not good, but not bad. Okay. You have some Calvin, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cartier. S. S tier. We got an S finally. All right, Celine. This I is all clothes, all yeah. handbag, whatever. Yeah, yeah, I know. Celine, top tier, A designers. A. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, this is Chanel. Uh, Don't you have Chanel on? I I do. I have yeah. a little. That is so cute. cute. It's fire. Thank all right, where are we putting Chanel? Chanel. I was gonna put A, but I would do S. Because, really? Um, Chanel price have been increasing. <laughs> crazy. Put the mic up a little bit. Yeah, Chanel price had been increasing like. So crazy. does the, do you think the price makes them top tier though? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. But what if some stuff is overpriced? Like Gucci's collab with um, North Face, so expensive, and yeah. I'm just like, what the fuck? Yeah, ridiculous. Do you think so? Do you think price is what dictates a brand's like? The way they get into your mind, like. Um, is the way their yeah, price and the way that they get into the the 
their like their they, advertising. They have trick mm. in their advertising. Uh, okay. That makes it. What so about good. Coach? Coach. Hell no. Not good, but not bad. No, it's pretty okay. Really? Yeah, but you, I wouldn't wear it. You think it's worth it? it? I wouldn't wear it. I know you wouldn't, but yeah. is it worth it? Mm. The price and stuff? After I put everything, and then yeah. I'll tell you, like. To move around. Which one I don't wear. Okay. Like, with tears, I don't wear. Well, okay. But Calvin Klein, Coach, I would put it in the C. Okay. Okay, that's They're fair. not bad. Dolce and Gabbana. Dolce, I'll put it in the um, not good, but not great, and I do own some. Really? Okay. Uh, Dior. Uh, no, sorry. D and G is a B. Oh, good, oh, not but good, not but great. not great. Okay. Yeah. Dior. Dior. I love Dior. I love Dior. I would do a best of the best. Oh, wait, A or S? S. S. I have a Dior shoe. It's the only shoe I have. That's nice. <laughs> well, I have a few actually. Fendi. Fendi. Uh, a. A. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do you think D- Dior is better than Fendi? Dior is, uh, yeah. Like way better. Yeah. Okay. Vinny does, uh, honestly, all of this stuff is just in your mind. Everything is all the similar quality. It's just all the way they Brand play your trick. Okay. Yeah. Because, you know, Finney is really good too, but because of the way they advertise themselves, it's not as great as the test. I'm shocked test. that Chanel is so high. Yes. The I, Chanel is almost hit mm, similar to Hermes. Whoa. Okay. Giorgio Armani. Oh. Not worth it? Um, no. Um, yeah, not worth it. <laughs> I don't think it's worth it. Dude, they got clothes there that's so expensive. It's so ugly. It's, mm, no. That's low-key kind of what I see like Fawn would wear. <laughs> the shit he would wear. All right, Giovanni. Mm, Giovanni. Giovanni. Oh, shit. Givenchy. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Givenchy is going to be in good, but not great designer. B. All I right. Mean. So all, all the people out there wearing Givenchy, you ain't there yet. Um, Gucci. Uh, I would do A because I wow, not S. admire Gucci. Not S? No. What's keeping them from S? I'm just curious. They're the brand that, you know, when you first make it, like when, uh, you, are, when you are, when you make money yeah. and you just want to get that Gucci or Louis Vuitton flex. so that to flex, you know? But people, okay, I, I get it. It's kind of like the Rolex. Uh, and then Dior, Cartier, is Dior is Chanel and Hermes. That's like the like, really, you got to like, know what you're doing. Yeah. Mm, interesting. So I'm surprised you put Dior over Gucci though. Yeah, Dior is totally higher than That's, Gucci. Hey, that makes me feel good. I got a pair of Dior's. Good. I'm okay with that. Uh, Hermes. Oh, S. I yeah. mean, if there's a little bit higher than an S, I would put Hermes. <laughs> so how about this? I'll put Hermes at the top. Yeah. So Hermes is the one that owns the um, Birkin, Birkin, Birkin bags, right? Yeah, the Birkin. Birkin brand. Or Kelly. You know, for the longest time, before I did this segment, mm-hmm. I thought Birkin was a brand. I swear to God. <laughs> I literally searched up Birkin, and then it popped up Hermes. And I was yeah. like, oh, <laughs> that's why you wanted to go to Hermes so bad. Mm-hmm. Are you going to go in Paris? Yes. Nice. Are you going to get an appointment, though? I don't. Even if I don't get an appointment, I can still walk in to buy accessories. So. Okay. What about uh, Jimmy Choo's? Jimmy Choo. Jimmy Choo's. Jimmy Choo's. Where are you uh, putting this? A. A. Okay. Uh, Kenzo. Do you know Kenzo? No. Italian brand, I think. Uh, Kate Spade. Kate Spade. I would. Not good, but not good, but not great designer. Not a D? Uh, a B. A B. A B. Good, but not great? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I love Case Bay. Lululemon. Uh, I love Lululemon. Wait, talk in the mic. So, talk in the mic. I love Lululemon so much, but they're not top. So. <laughs> Just think about good, where you put it. Not good, but not bad. Not good, but not bad. Okay, so C. Mm-hmm. Louis Vuitton. They are A. A, okay. Yeah, I, I figured wherever you put Gucci, you kind of have to put Louis. Yes, and Burberry. And- Maje. Oh, I wear that so much. What is matcha? Is it design? Match, uh, match is like a uh, f- more into a woman uh, clothing line. Is it designer though? Is designer um, not really? Is okay. uh, it's a little bit higher than Zara, and oh, okay, okay. Uh, lower than Chanel and Dior. So where would and you put stuff. this? I would put a good but not great designer. Okay. Prada. Prada in the A. Really? Yes. Do you own Prada? Yes. Bags or what? It's a little red bag that I, mom got me for my Prada parent. doesn't make anything cute my to wedding me. I just don't think anything Prada is cute yeah I went there and I don't really their like designs anything. is weird 
Uh, Michael Kors. Uh, they will go with the coach. Where's coach? Oh, right here. See. Okay. Uh, Ralph Lauren. Um, they will be not worth it. <laughs> Do you know if you search up designer, Ralph Lauren pops up? Yeah, he's really what good. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. I think it's so plain and boring. It's actually really high price in another country. Yeah, but in America, it's like dirt cheap. Yeah, you can go. You can find it in TJ Maxx. Yeah, it's crazy. Sal- Salvador Ferragamo. Oh, that's do you own one. any? Yes, I do. Ooh. Hey, did you buy it in uh, in Italy? Paris and in Ch- Chicago? You weren't there the day that I was in um because you know when you guys stayed in uh Greece an extra day, I came back with uh, Lauren right. Yeah. So there was a day where I was by myself. She had a class. So I walked around and I stumbled mm-hmm. upon a different place. You guys, we, we haven't gone together. And I was like, oh, what is this place? This is like really nice shoes and shit. And I look, it's the original Salvador Ferragamo because yeah. it's from Florence. So crazy. You know what's funny? Me looking at all this. I love it. <laughs> yeah, that's like your favorite part of the podcast. Yeah. Uh, this is something McCartney. I don't know. Ella, so Ellie or Ella McCartney? Anything that I don't know. Just leave it here. Uh, yeah. yeah. Tom Ford. Oh. Hey. Does he make, what does he make? I thought it was guy stuff. He makes girl stuff? Girl stuff and he has. Is it just cl- Makeup and he have accessories what? and he have everything. Makeup? Yeah, he is, uh, he's part of Gucci. You know what's funny? When I f- first saw Tom Ford, I, I knew Tom Ford from a song, uh, jay-z's song tom ford and so i just saw pictures and i thought he was like straight manly man <laughs> super gay <laughs> opposite uh valentino valentino in the a please okay uh versace in the a also okay and so is a ysl All right, and that's it that's it this is your list you yeah. want to move anything wow no it's actually Perfect, really huh? makes sense but there's nothing here you wouldn't wear. I mean, you would everything here you would wear. Okay, no, I would not wear. I'm so so sorry. Talk I'm, in the mic. I'm so sorry. I I would not wear. Um, Let's see. Ralph Lauren, <laughs> and I actually going to wear. Um, Georgia. Yeah, yeah. You would wear it. Okay. Yeah, I would wear it because I ca- I kind of wait. Do they even have clothes? Oh, it's just a perfume. Georgia Armani. Yeah, they have clothes. Oh, they but have it's for guys, I think. For like women, they have women too. I do own some dresses in there for teaching. Okay, so you would wear it. So I would wear it, but oh. Ralph Lauren, no. What about these? You would not wear Coach. I would not wear Coach, no. even though it's a not good but not bad. Or Michael Kors, you would never wear that. I now. don't want to wear Michael Kors. I don't know why. I used to own a lot of shoes. I still have it, but I won't wear it now. Just I. D- Okay, I'm not trying to say anything, but like whenever I see Coach and Michael Kors, I think about high school girls that like their parents are rich, yeah. so they get the Michael Kors. Mm-hmm. But like, it's not that good of a brand to me. Mm-hmm. Um, but would you wear all these? Here? But I would wear Kate Spade. Much I love them. You would wear Kate all. Spade? Yeah, I love Kate Spade. How much clothing. is a Kate Spade bag? Oh no 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 clothing, uh, okay, but okay, not okay. bags. I would I not see. wear any of those in bags. <laughs> Givenchy, I do have a bag in Givenchy, so I I will wear. Why that. is Givenchy a B and not an A? I'm just curious. That's right. G- G- Givenchy should be an A. Okay. Because I would I would I have a bag and I love to wear it, but it's it's still lower than any other A on top. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh boss, I don't want it. Out of all these A's, which one do you think is the best of the A's? Ah, Louis Vuitton. Mm, interesting. Mm-hmm. All right, that's cool. That's the list. And then Hermes, Cartier, Chanel, Dior. Okay. Yeah. All right, anything you want to say? Oh, everybody, follow her on social media. Her social media is uh, on Facebook. It's just Taudo or Lee? Yes. Um, you can do Lee's Beauty Academy or um, L-Y-S Beauty Academy. Or you can do um, Taudo. Um, yeah. yeah, she spells Lee L Y. Mm-hmm. By the way, yeah. um, and on Instagram, what is it? Lee's Instagram, Beauty Academy. Lee's Beauty Academy. Yeah, L Y S Beauty Academy. Yep. Um, anything else you want to shout out? You're good. Shout um, out to Lana, six year old. Yeah. I hope you're listening to this. Um, shout out to my best family. Um, after that, my daughter and my ex husband. Michelle. 
um, I he really play a big role now to my daughter's life. I love it. And then all my employees. Oh my gosh, I love you. Without you, I wouldn't oh, yes. have um, the best business now. So um, I'm so happy and grateful for everyone. That's it. Yeah, that's all righty. That's a wrap, guys. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you, Tao. Thank you. All right. That's it.